We like to think of numbers as being absolutely true, absolute truth, incarnate, uh, that numbers in some sense are, are truth handed down from a platonic realm above us. One plus one is always two. It's never going to change itself and become three. But every number comes from a measurement of some sort. And because we humans are doing the measurements, they're not entirely true. A good example of this occurred in Britain. Three women had two children die of SIDS. And there was an expert witness, a very famous pediatrician uh, named Sir Roy Meadow, who testified that the probability of having two children die of SIDS was infinitesimal, one in 73 million. So, he argued, such a small probability means that it's much more likely that the women were murderers. The probability that a child will die of SIDS is actually not a straightforward calculation. It could be that there's something genetic, or there's something even in the environment. So if, in fact, your first child dies of SIDS, the chances of your second child dying of SIDS are much greater. Three women were convicted of murdering their children based upon testimony uh, like this. In the mid-1990s, uh, people suddenly got very scared that NutraSweet, uh, aspartame, the uh, sweetener in Diet Coke, was causing brain cancer. And one of the main lines of evidence was that you had this rise in NutraSweet and the rise in brain cancers from mid-1975 on. So, aha, there must be some connection. Well, in fact, there were a lot of things that tracked at the same time. If you look at the budget deficit and how much more we were spending in government than we were taking in on taxes, you saw that brain cancers tracked extremely well with the budget deficit. And in fact, the, the correlation was almost perfect. So just because you see a rise in something associated with a rise in something else, it doesn't mean that the two are related. In fact, often it's not the case. If you've got a prosecutor who's looking at fingerprint evidence and saying there's only a one in a million chance that this fingerprint didn't come from the person I want to convict. Well, if you're in a city of eight million people, that means on average, there's eight other people running around the city who the prosecutor could say exactly the same thing about. We do feel safe when there's a number there. It gives us something to grab onto and believe is absolutely true, even if that number has no foundation whatsoever. Advertisers know this. This is why four out of five dentists prefer Trident. It's why L'Oreal's Extra Impact Mascara has 12 times more impact. Think about that for a second. How do you measure impact? Anytime someone presents something in quantitative form, people will believe you, even though numbers themselves may be perfect, because we are faulty. In our hands, numbers can lie.